Это уже не первый нарративный челлендж, который я имею счастье вести. Недавно мы проводили в декабре этого года нарративный челлендж в Киеве. И, в общем-то, мы после этого много усвоили. Я решила в этот раз, меня очень просила Лерика не пытать, не мучать вас и, в общем, не устраивать кровавую баню. И поэтому мы все пришли сюда сегодня все-таки отдохнуть, потому что... Прошлый челлендж был очень похож на экзамен по русскому языку. Ребята потели, в общем, у них там болели руки, они уже не могли писать, они сильно нервничали. Мы решили, что это не очень фаново, хотя тоже иногда полезно, потому что сценаристы не любят над собой издеваться, но нам не нужно. И в этот раз мы решили сделать более развлекательную программу, которая, наверное, займет чуть больше времени, чем у нас написано, ну, то есть чуть больше часа. Отвечая на ваш вопрос, нужно ли регистрироваться на батл заранее, хорошо, если вы это сделали. Если вы это не сделали, можете досидеть до конца и все равно принять участие. Значит, что мы будем сейчас делать? Для того, чтобы начать первый раунд, я попрошу Арвида составить мне компанию и сделать синхронный перевод. У тебя есть микрофон, да? У меня есть. Значит, ребятки, унесите, пожалуйста, стулья отсюда. Давайте устроим небольшой вопрос. Кто из вас э, нарративщики, сценаристы? Поднимите руку. А что у вас так мало? Остальные кто? Окей. Геймдизайнеры есть? Так, хорошо. Художники? Программисты? Продюсеры? Может быть, Хиве есть? Хиве нет, ладно. Нет? Нету. Ладно, хорошо. Окей. We're trying to figure out how to stick the telephone to this uh, stand in order to spare some free hands. I think it's no way it's gonna work. No. Okay. Okay. Um, um, так, значит, начинаем первый раунд. Uh, мне нужны твои руки. Стой, стой здесь. Um, я, наверное, унесу стойку, чтобы никому ничего не загораживать. Значит, uh, okay. Давайте начнем. Тихо, нет, нет, не рани. Значит, для первого раунда э, я пригласила своих друзей, э, Лешу Флазму, Лешу, выходи, э, Сергея Галенкина, можете похлопать им, э, Святослава Торика, Майка Битхела, который сделал Томас Василон, Майк, come here, и Крис Рэмо из Firewatch. Да. Значит, uh, you can have, go here, here. Uh, can save the space for you, so you can just move along there. Um, значит, are you ready for translation? Absolutely. Uh, probably I'll go this way, or maybe, I don't know. Stand here. Okay, so uh, to spare some confusion, uh, the main rules will be read in Russian, uh, will be taught in Russian, but for you I'll translate in English. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, the problem is I can only have one thought at mind, uh, so it's either rules or translating them to English. Поэтому я буду повторять сначала правила на русском языке. Первый раунд мы проведем на английском языке, чтобы ребята могли понять, после чего мы снова переключимся на русский язык. Все понятно. First round will be in English so that you'll be able to understand. Итак, туториал. Что мы будем сегодня делать? У меня есть набор вот таких замечательных кубиков. Story Cubes. Кто-нибудь знает, что это такое? Молодцы. Красавцы. Это главный инструмент нарративного дизайнера. Что мы будем делать? Да, они не спонсируют эту номинацию, если что. Что мы будем делать? Сейчас. Are you translating or not? Well, I'm waiting for you to stop. No, so essentially we're gonna... Uh take this uh, set of uh, Rory Story Cubes dice, yeah, uh, which is said to be the main tool for all narrative designers yeah. because we all we all love things random, so yeah. We'll try and play one round and trying to make up a story. So, yeah. uh, что мне нужно, чтобы вы сделали? Я хочу, чтобы каждый из вас подошел и взял один какой-нибудь кубик. We need uh, for each one of you to uh, grab one day for you, each one. From the box. One yes. day, yes. Uh, 
Вы можете даже на них посмотреть, чтобы мне было страшно. Хотя больше всего страшно мне здесь. И для первого раунда... Сори. Так, вот так мы потеряем все кости. Чтобы сделать историю простой, эм, обычно это не входит в Home Rule. Э, первыми кидаются кости для того, чтобы засетапить э, сеттинг и персонажа. Но для туториала я предложу ребятам... Э, можешь сюда вот встать, вот, вот прямо сюда. Я предложу персонажам... Э, персонажам. <laughs> you were called characters. <laughs> you are characters. You are very vivid characters. But no. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. So usually it takes three dice uh, for each uh, player to create a character. Yeah. From the pictures you see on each of the die. So it can be, you know, a smiley face, uh, a whip, and an axe, and you have a smiley, funny maniac, essentially. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> For each one of you, uh, you'll drop one die, yes? To create a character. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Значит, правило первого тура. Каждый игрок будет бросать по одной кости, и из нее будет рассказывать историю. Okay. So, uh, in order to create a story, each one of you will drop your die and try to essentially come up with something interesting. In order for next player to continue the story, it may be. Ты уже ты уже дальше пошел. Да, ну в общем-то челлендж как раз в том, что первому игроку проще всего, поэтому я попрошу Криса, наверное, встать конец, потому что наиболее опытный из них всех. Первый человек начинает историю, второй должен, исходя из того, что он выбросил, продолжить эту историю, но так, чтобы она соответствовала кубику предыдущего, ну, и истории предыдущего игрока. Хуже всего приходится человеку в конце, потому что он должен все логически объяснить. Ну, вы же понимаете. Крис, uh, we'll ask you to come to the end of the line, because we think that you're more experienced in the narrative department. <laughs> because, frankly, it'll be most difficult for the last player to wrap up the story <laughs> coherently. Yeah, uh, so that it all makes sense in the end. But uh, it won't? <laughs> it'll be better the way. I mean, we all love David Lynch. Uh, my personal question is, uh, when we'll come up with characters? I, I will start rather, the, okay. ma the main point to you to understand uh, is that each person will throw a dice and uh, tell a story uh, within the picture um, portrayed on the dice. Uh, just remember, it's not the actual picture, it's just a symbol you can use. So if it's a door, it can be, uh, I don't know, uh, an underground uh, transition to, so it's very abstract. And the second person in line, the third, should continue with the first one story, but including his own dice. So the last person, thank you, Chris, you're awesome, should uh, make it logical. Um, главное требование к истории. Несмотря на абсурд всего происходящего здесь, история должна быть логичной. То есть она должна иметь хотя бы хоть какую-то логическую привязку к происходящему. А также, эм, так, какое у нас там было еще правило? Ах да, не забываем про чувство юмора. Вот, в принципе, все, что нужно. Окей, okay, so uh, two main rules. Uh, regardless of uh, how absurd uh, and abstract the story will be, it has to be coherent and logical. Well, if it's possible. To some extent. To some extent, <laughs> yes. And uh, second, don't forget about humor. I mean, yeah, we're all here to have some good time. So, <laughs> let's have some fun. Значит, для первого раунда я назову персонажа, с которым будут работать uh, все участники. И этот персонаж будет Пакманом. Все знают, кто такой Пакман. Okay, да? so the character for your story will be Pacman. You'll have to create the story for Pacman. So yeah, can so start? we can start right now. Yeah, the first role. Is this on? Hello. 
Out of interest, how many of you speak English? Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if it was only two of you, I'd just kind of talk to one person in the corner. And okay, Pac-Man. Okay. Do you so, see what's in the picture, sorry. everyone? Just cut up now. Let's, let's, okay. No, it's Pac-Man. Now, well. Pac-Man, Pac-Man was, was born, as you all know, uh, in 1963 in France. Um, that, that's, I, I didn't write the origin story of Pac-Man. Um, and Pac-Man was well known for having a, a pet bird. Uh, the bird was called Tetris. Um, <laughs> and Tetris was a beautiful, beautiful raven. Um, and uh, and Pac-Man loved it very dearly. And it was actually uh, because of the raven Tetris that Pac-Man decided to embark on his adventure of, of eating little dots um, <laughs> as, 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 you know, ultimately he escaped the ghosts of his past. It's a very tragic story. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Tetris the bird... Uh, was was beautiful, but Tetris got sick. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to. That's a good one. <laughs> I want a Pac-Man game from Mike Bivol all of a sudden. I mean. <laughs> oh no! Oh you? no! Oh my God! <laughs> what, what should I do? Man, man, I just. I just <laughs> Come on, Alex. You should do something about it. <laughs> okay, so so w w what should I say? The, the death has come, finally. And uh, as we know, the death of the bird, obviously. And uh, as we know, the every end is just a new beginning. So <laughs> the death has come. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we are finished with the <laughs> Tetris is dead. <laughs> is that legal? <laughs> okay, Slava is rolling. Come on, Slava. Oh, it's an egg. Something ends. Something ends. And, and, and something begins. So it's the cycle of life. And as Pac-Man um, have experienced this, uh, I don't know, mortuary? Tragic uh, loss. Tragic, tragic loss. Um, he um, um, started his uh, findings, um, his travel to find uh, a new pet. And as he was uh, very close to birds, he found another pet. And this time, um, he called it um, Bejeweled, the new bird. Um, and as we know, uh, Bejeweled was a beautiful, multicolored bird, and they were friends. Pac-Man is god at naming. <laughs> Thank you. Right. What would that mean? I mean it could actually mean any, means anything, so it gives me a... Uh, I get another bird! I <laughs> <laughs> just bird killer, you know? It looks like uh, the end of 2001, The Space Odyssey. <laughs> uh, it actually looks like an Eiffel Tower from, be from below, you know? That's where, uh, that's where Pac Man us and uh, a French person <laughs> came to mourn his Tetris and to play with his bejeweled. <laughs> as he was uh, trying to comprehend why, you know, uh, wow. Black Raven gave birth to uh, multiple, multiple pieces. Uh, Creature bejeweled, and while well, all of a sudden uh, we just descended from Tetris to bejeweled. So he's in the genetic right now. It's a genetic. Yeah, I, I'm trying to make a point here about games moving from Tetris to bejeweled. Totally valid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris, it's your turn. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, okay. As we all, and we're in France now, right? As, <laughs> as we all know, French cooks are very adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Pac-Man, uh, as as with Tetris, um, bejeweled must to someday come to an end. Um, as as we know, Pac-Man has 
infinite lives. Uh, Pac-Man lives on again and again and again, maze after maze after maze, dot after dot after dot. Pac-Man is, is with us always. Uh, not so with birds. Um, Tetris has come and gone. Bejeweled has come and gone. Uh, Pac-Man lives on. And uh, there's... <laughs> and... Uh, Pac-Man understands that uh, though these, these gifts, though these, these, these wonderful creatures from his life, though they have, uh, though they have passed on uh, from the material world, they do live on inside of him, inside Aww. of his stew. <laughs> the end. Thank you. Totally worth it. <laughs> Okay, so first round is not that bad, and I give you a chance to retire right now or stay for the second one when you should um, drop all the dices and tell the story. But the the order of the dices uh, you choose. So, yes, are you ready? Okay, okay. So, I'll give you another character, and that would be. Spaghetti Monster. Do you know who Spaghetti Monster is? Like yes, yeah. great. Okay. So, uh, Chris, uh, maybe you would like to be the first one. I don't know. Sure. That would be fair, probably. Okay, so grab all the dices. You have something about less than a minute to think it out. Woof. Uh, it's do so, <coughs> so I have to do all of these just myself yeah. or everyone? No, okay. Everybody else can uh, help you and also the auditorium as well, uh, but not to make it in a mess. So if you feel that Chris is stuck, you can suggest some ideas to... <laughs> Oh well. Oh great. So I'm sorry, what was the character okay. again? Oh the spaghetti monster. monster, yes. Let's okay. let's make sure so the audience sees uh, the picture the right way, I guess. Because now it's upside down. Oh no, this is first. That is last. Okay. Don't spoil it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure. Sorry. Who's going to die? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, Teamwork. Yeah. So, we all know the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. We all know the uh, this crucial organization that... Uh, helps so much of humanity through its spiritual struggles. Um, what you may not know is there is a, an inner conclave of the Church of the, Sp the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Um, and to, to join this inner conclave, um, you are sent on a, on a great journey, on a great quest. Um, you're sent off uh, in just a large ship, a galleon, uh, with nothing but dry spaghetti, crates and crates of dry spaghetti um, <laughs> to carry you through your journey, armed with only, only this food and with your deep abiding faith in the, uh, the flying spaghetti monster. Um, you're sent off on a journey uh, to navigate by the stars um, over many, many seas, um, miles and miles, thousands of miles of ocean. Um, if you are pure and, and true of heart, uh, your, your deep abiding faith in the Flying Spaghetti Monster will guide you to an isolated island with, with a barren island as far as the eye can see um, with only a mysterious hatch leading deep underground. Um, <laughs> you will encounter many strange beasts, many dangerous creatures, snakes and monkeys and all <laughs> sorts of terrible things who will dissuade you and, and, uh, and obstruct your, your progress. Uh, but if, if you are true in your purpose and if you, 
you, uh, you, you show true faith in the, in the flying spaghetti monster, you will uncover the, the sacred journey, or the sacred treasure, and the enchanted amulet that will uh, bring clarity to your life and, and purpose to, to your journey home. And, and as you spread the word of the flying spaghetti monster far and wide across, the, across this planet, uh, probably, though, you'll just die. <laughs> <laughs> Chris just, just gave you an idea for another game story plot, so I hope you're making marks. Excellent. Okay, Mike, so, yeah. Same thing, right? Yeah. Do I have a different character? No. no so you have to continue the story. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's season two. Вам видно, что происходит на доске, да? Now you don't envy the writers of Game of Thrones. Okay, all right, this is going to be... Oh. Um, so I think, so my reading of these is amulet, snake, glasses, gang member, I'm going to go with. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers, angry, some kind of time gauge, dinosaur skeleton, telescope, and a sheriff's badge, I'm going to assume. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Yep. <coughs> I want to tell you. <laughs> so it's, no, no, it's, it's, well, you see, it started complicated. Now, a long time ago, I was, uh, I was looking to get into the, uh, the Church of Spaghetti Monster. And there's a lot of options. Obviously, the church has fractured over the years. But, you know, there is this conclave. Um, now, I don't know if you've heard about the conclave. It's very... Pretty standard, actually, kind of hero's quest they tend to go on. Uh, they tend to go off on an adventure and then eventually die. So I was, I, I was giving this serious thought. Um, my, my grandfather um, was a member, which is impressive because the... Uh, he, cause the Are you sure you're using the dices? I, I am. <laughs> I am because my grandfather gave me the amulet. Okay. Um, now, the amulet uh, that, he, that he had, uh, that he found, actually, on, on that quest... Um, Spoilers, the granddad is the character from his story. We're doing a <laughs> generational narrative now. <laughs> now, he, he had this amulet, but I, I always knew I was a bit different. I, I, I got as far as the snakes. Um, <laughs> I got as far as the snakes. I didn't see any monkeys. They didn't show up. Uh, it's just not how it happened. Um, but I found the snakes, and I got a little bit uncomfortable. And I actually, I kind of studied. I did my research, and I looked into the history of the church, and I had some serious questions uh, actually, it seemed a bit silly, the whole thing. Um, spaghetti, didn't get it. So I joined a gang um, because I was so disenfranchised by, by religion as a general concept that I decided to become a gangster. Um, <laughs> and honestly, I, it was just, I was just angry. I was just angry all the time. Um, and, and, and the gang was a way of expressing that anger. But thanks to the studying I'd done within the church, I was actually quite smart. I was, uh, my focus had actually been... Um, on time travel, uh, which is an under-researched area. Um, but I built a time machine. Um, it looked like a speedometer, but it was actually a time machine. Um, and, uh, and I was like, you know what? Screw the church. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> I'm going to travel back through time to before the spaghetti monster, because I, I, I believed that there was a time. Um, and it was proven by the existence of fossils and dinosaurs. So I traveled back in time to the Cretaceous period, um, which is where T-Rexes were, um, unlike the movie Jurassic Park would lead you to believe. Uh, it's not factually accurate. Um, <laughs> and I, I started battling dinosaurs. I navigated, much as my grandfather had. It's weird how these echoes of his story have found their way into my own hero journey. Really? Um, I would navigate my way through this dinosaur era. Um, but what was really interesting was I earned their respect, the dinosaurs, um, they, they knew I was a little bit special. I had a certain 
quality to me. I, I had been a gangster and a religious zealot in my in a poor, former life, but I was on the side of justice. Oh yeah. So one day, I was hanging out with uh, Fangy, my, my favorite T-Rex, which is hanging, um, and he suggested to me that I should have some kind of position or role in this society. So he asked me to become the very first dinosaur sheriff. And I did. And, <laughs> and you know what? I've been one ever since. It's great. And I've had some continuing adventures. Yay. Excellent. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. At least somebody else's hands, because mine are tired. Can somebody help? Hold the mobile phone for me. Yes, thank you. Okay. Guys, what if you don't it? mind, I will switch to Russian because uh, all, all like our the overarching participants theme. Yeah, will understand Russian. Yep. Um, he glues, he glues the narrative together. Essentially, this challenge uh, here is to prove that everyone with every set of uh, un absolutely unbelievable plot points can make a great story twice in a row. Great story. Uh, <laughs> or like, by adding dramatic pauses, make people think it was a good story. <laughs> that's, you know, that's another trick. Alex, do you need help from your team? Maybe from this? No. Okay. <coughs> no trains. No. No robots. <laughs> okay, we have a grill at the end. Okay. Я буду по-русски продолжать. Я думаю, ребята смогут помочь продолжать. Sorry for, for Russian, but it's... Um, uh, продолжая предыдущую историю, mm -hmm. uh, наш монстр, после того, как он обрел покой и гармонию в мире динозавров... Может, ты будешь давать Арвиду время для синхронного периода, ты у нас можешь переводить для ребят. Oh, yeah, sure. uh, let's, let's break it down into several plot points, essentially. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so our monster, he found peace and he found dinosaurs. Um, на первом кубике я вижу некую еду. И главный герой, играя со своим динозавром в Uncharted 4, в мире и покое, поедая попкорн. Окей, so Fanny. Yes, Fanny was favorite T-Rex. Yeah. Fan. Fang. Okay. Okay, so our hero was his favorite T-Rex, Fang. They were playing Uncharted 4. Billions, billions of years ago, yes, of course, and yeah. <laughs> it was pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> and they were, <laughs> and they were eating popcorn. И как как мы видим на следующих двух дайсах не только попкорн. Там 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 было скучно, да, но надо было как развлекаться. So the dinosaur age was really boring. So they uh, were not only eating popcorn, some shrooms and some drugs also. It, it was boring. I mean, come on. Здесь есть место для Hotline Miami сейчас, вот сюжете. So yeah, it's Hotline Miami 3, I mean. И он начал понимать, что он катится по наклонной, что впереди темное, не бесперспективное существование. Uh, and our hero, after some time, started to realize that he goes nowhere, essentially. Uh, what he has in front of him is a black hole. God damn it! Некая подзорная труба. Надо было что-то менять. You need to change something, somehow. И была дана команда копать динозавра. 
И, и, конечно же, был, был найден древний артефакт, еще более древний, чем динозавр. Okay, so that's an interesting twist. So uh, the dinosaurs were ordered to dig. Because of course they're happy, yes. <laughs> that's it, that, that's And they found an ancient artifact even before, from the time before the dinosaurs. More, more ancient than the dinosaurs. And you know, uh, it's a looking glass, so it might be an interesting twist. После того, как ты посмотришь в этот артефакт, в эту подзорную трубу, можно увидеть не только прошлое, будущее, бессмертные богатства и защиту от любой напасти. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this artifact, this looking glass, uh, it allowed you to see the past, the present, and the future, the countless uh, unlimited treasures, and the protection. He, he uh, it uh, allowed you to see and to find the protection from countless hazards. Но вершиной мощи этого артефакта была на самом деле не бесконечная власть и богатство. Давай клифхенгер сейчас, клифхенгер. Давай, Леша. Главным, главным, так сказать, граалем, граалем этого артефакта был uh, новый мир. Новый мир. Okay, so, uh, but all of this countless treasure was not the point of this artifact of this looking glass. What uh, the holy gla grail that this looking glass showed was the new world, the different world. Okay. Yeah. So, this is the end of season three. <laughs> so our character embarked on a wonderful, complicated journey with dinosaurs and treasures and holy grails and ancient artifacts, and he discovered a new world. Previously on HBO. <laughs> One man. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> you see, we can actually retcon the the season three because we can say that it wasn't actually a spaghetti monster doing it. It was our hero from season two with his grandfather's legacy, and spaghetti monster was you know looming in the background, just some somewhere always watching. Yes, so of course. So how spaghetti monstrous is our hero? He's above us. Okay. Slogan. Isn't it a cop out? Um. Sometimes. <laughs> Guys. Okay. Yes. Хорошо. Давай. Ну что ж, увидев новый мир в подзорную трубу, наш герой начал искать возможности туда попасть, потому что труба трубой, а пролезть в нее даже спагетти монстр не может. <laughs> okay. uh, он начал изучать, изучать um, разные возможности, исторические книги, привлек опять же своих друзей динозавров, uh, но те не смогли ему помочь, и тогда um, наш подопечный летающего спагетти монстра отправился в таинственное путешествие в неизведанное. Окей, so, uh, discovering the new world is one thing, but uh, there's a problem of getting there into the new world. So our hero with his countless dinosaur minions, uh, they studied, they studied this... <laughs> <laughs> Mind blown, yes. They studied various materials regarding in, in, in the dinosaur age. They studied, all right. They studied various materials on how to get there. Um, Am I missing something? And they eventually embarked on a journey. Yes, to this new world. Uh, they embarked on a journey to find the way inside the new world. So it's a journey to find a way to start a journey to the new world. Yes. So, таким образом, заручившись поддержкой 
и периодически молясь летающему спагетти монстру, наш герой наткнулся на представьте себе новое сокровище. Okay. Ему вообще везет по жизни. Our hero is a lucky guy. He found another treasure while looking for the way to continue. The, you know, the, you know the drill. У кого-то сломан рандом в игре. Yes. So uh, our hero was also there. Is this moment our hero was praying to the spaghetti monster. Maybe he found faith again after he lost it in season two. Да, в общем-то без амулета, но с верой в душе он Uh, вместе с сокровищами я нашел тарелку макарон. Uh, <laughs> Каннибализм. Как это еще? Нет, <laughs> не думаю, да. <laughs> uh, но на запах еды из глубин той пещеры, где он нашел сокровище и еду, выползла змея. О, oh God, it's all coming together. All right, so <laughs> uh, in this treasure he found while looking for the way the journey, you know, the drill, uh, he found the bowl of pasta. Of spaghetti, okay. yes. And with this bowl of spaghetti, uh, there was—is it a flock of snakes, a group of snakes? H how do you call? A, a <laughs> <laughs> there were snakes. There were snakes, and they are an army of snakes. There were snakes there. Gang. <laughs> So, okay, oh. gangsters are coming back too from the season two. Okay, he um, found snakes. Собственно, вспоминая свое прошлое в роли успешного шерифа динозавров, наш герой бросился защищаться. Благо, физическая подготовка позволяла, да и спагетти монстр не оставлял его в покое своими, значит, дарами. И, разумеется, первым делом наш герой наткнулся на щит, потому что он видел, что щит лежит, так почему бы его, собственно, и не подобрать? Uh, okay, well, uh, our hero, he saw, the, he saw the snakes, and because he was a sheriff some time ago in season three, he was a dinosaur sheriff, he was strong, and he decided to protect himself and maybe the dinosaurs around him, because there was, you know, there were lots of them. What are you thinking? Don't tell me. And he found the shield, and there was a fan theory that it was a Captain America <laughs> shield. <laughs> А, ну, одного щита мало, потому что змей много, и там придавить, например, можно парочку, но э, их много, надо чем-то отбиваться. И в поисках, соответственно, оружия он э, сначала думал воспользоваться костями, которые там валялись в больших количествах, потому что змеи явно давно там жили. А, но, как выяснилось, что до него здесь тоже побывали, и не только со щитом, но еще и с топором. И таким образом он вооружился топором и бросился на змей. So the shield wasn't obviously wasn't enough to beat all the snakes because you know you can stump a couple of them, but uh, that's all, essentially. So, th yeah, it's a whole gang, and they they wear collars essentially. So it's very dangerous. And uh, he found an axe because you know it. It's maybe it was some sort of uh, the. Uh, I don't know, the burial of the ancient civilization because there was an awful lot of artifacts laying around. Um, и поскольку мы двигаемся к финалу сезона, uh, у нас самая напряженная двух, двухчасовая серия, uh, ну и поскольку мы все здесь делаем игры, я решил, что uh, эта часть будет интерактивной. Uh, я подброшу монетку, и мы выясним, кто умрет. Uh, just, just a moment before, before you do okay. So, because it's the end of the season, it's the season final, it's a two-part two series, of course, two-hour special. Uh, and because, you know, we are all uh, game developers, not uh, TV show writers. Such writing we, stuff. Yeah, we want to make something interactive and we'll uh, toss a coin uh, in order to find out who will die. <laughs> because, you know, we have lots of characters there <laughs> that we love and care about. But, uh, yeah. We have, we have essentially two characters. It's main character and fan the the pet pet dinosaur or snakes так подождите давай давайте голосовать кто за то чтобы умер тирекс выжил
Слушай, может, ты решишь в самом деле? Yeah, you're the writer. Come on. Hero. Пам, 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 пам. So our hero dies. Bum 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 I have to say, this whole exercise explains a lot about stories and indie games. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wrap it up, or are we gonna do? What yeah, you're the last one. You have to wrap oh, okay, up. Okay. The sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet it. Ну, вы знаете, как это обычно бывает, что вы там шестой сценарист на проекте, до вас уже дописано куча всего, и вам нужно это заканчивать, как бы, нормальная ситуация. На самом деле, это очень похоже на Lost. Да, мы говорим, что это выглядит как Lost, на самом деле. Это Спенсер Ритсон на Lost. We, yeah, we can have Spaghetti Monster, the motion picture, uh, a three-hour movie about where nothing happens. Do you need help? You know, I, I used to play this game with my uh, seven-year-old kid, seven-year, seven-year-old daughter and her friends, and we usually never kill characters in this game, so it's going to be, <laughs> you know. A bacteria. Uh, I saw it's hairy balls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rated R. Very provocative image on day one. <laughs> You can have a quick word with the team and come up with idea. Yeah. Or I summon mean, them I when you need them. Teamwork? Yes. Yeah. Do, do you mean? Okay. Oh, you can go there and yeah. If you have some theories. Support, Sergey. <laughs> Revenge of the T-Rex. That's the writing room. This is how it works. <laughs> so many advices, so many useless. I don't know if you hear it, but there, there are lines uh, being pronounced like, you know, please don't resurrect him. This is going to be boring. This is a writer's room, I mean... That's what I said two minutes ago. I'm just repeating what you're saying. <laughs> Snakes... Uh, I don't know, I'm just speculating. The, there are leaks there. <laughs> I've heard that snakes are still alive. Yes. We don't know. We don't know if Red Woman is gonna come, but you're acting like a noble right now. There is a Red Woman here, <laughs> said you. <she. laughs> okay. You know, even Lost writer said it doesn't have to make sense. So <laughs> it was making so much sense until now. I, I, I kind of <laughs> don't want to. Yes. So yeah. So we arrive at the start of the season five, and with our hero dying at embrace of his uh, friend Fang. Really, really short embrace, obviously, but <laughs> still <laughs> loving. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, 
uh, the fighting dinosaur fang decides to avenge his uh, was it Jon Snow? What's the name of Batman? Jon Snow. Ah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, no uh, relation. <laughs> Complete? Yeah. <laughs> you know. uh, I went to his uh, fallen master to take and continue his journey to discover a spaghetti monster because he was told his, uh, by his master that you know, that's the whole spiritual journey he will, he will find. <coughs> and obviously he tried to fight with uh, sword and a shield an axe and a shield, and, but because we are not allowed to use axe in cop and he's done as a company and unrelated, he couldn't do this, and he had to switch to another weapon to fight snakes. He found a uh, whip, and da suddenly... Da 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 <laughs> yeah. Unrelated, da 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 da. absolutely. <laughs> uh, but when snakes saw, well, snakes and TV uh, show audience saw Dinosaur, sheriff dinosaur, wearing a uh, whip. Uh, they just ran away and dissolved to uncover a puzzle. Sorry, I'm mixing it up. I'm going, yeah, making the stuff up as I go. I presume it's uh, supposed to be uh, uh, uncovering a puzzle that he has to solve to enter a dungeon that lied behind all the snakes. That might be an opening. I'll just forget about Harry Bolt here and assume it was an opening, <laughs> an, an opening to another world. And well, obviously he couldn't solve it because he only had uh, his trusty treasures that his master left him that he found. I think it's season two, right? So many treasures. <laughs> Too many treasures. Yeah, he, but uh, okay, the first one. He, he, when he found the first one. Uh, and it contained a cup. And this cup and a uh, bag with some kind of uh, weird, weird stuff in it that he decided might be worse to just put in the cup and see what happens. And what happened actually, he started, it started boiling. And eventually he saw that this cup was actually an out outer boiling uh, artifact from, it started in the 21st century, right? It was, so. yeah, it was an artifact from the uh, 21st century, you know, cooking machine. And the stuff he put in uh, that he started put inside was uh, spaghetti, but from the ancient history, from the second treasure that his master first found. So essentially, uh, the sheriff of uh, dinosaurs now his his master is dead. He create he created some kind of creature that started to climb out of uh, this pole, and as this creature rose above this thing and started speaking to him and he asked, who are you? Why did you create me? And he said, uh, well, I'm Feng, I'm dinosaur sheriff, and you are probably spaghetti monster, my master, Jon Snow, and his, <laughs> and, uh, his uh, grandfather, was it? Grandfather. Uh, of Lannisters, I s presume, <laughs> uh, was looking for, and uh, spaghetti creature said, well, if I'm a spaghetti monster, so be it, and he ate the thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a sad story. You know, uh, we, we could have an additional behind the scenes material of cut, cut material when it says that actually our hero, uh, he came back to the future, not to the past. So it was like, you know, Planet of the Apes. And so th the fang that was eaten, it was his remains that he saw in season two, you know? <laughs> Got it? It's like... <laughs> Thank you guys so Thank much, much for coming. It was a great game. Please have a round of applause. <laughs> yes, we can set you free right now. And uh, I need some like f five minutes time. Yeah, we're really past the lunch time. So if you're ready to not eat but play, please stay here. <laughs> yes, yes, you're free to go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I was you. really glad to see you here. It was excellent.